Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sea Sucker Mini Bomber Fork Mounted Roof Bike Rack, part number 298-BM2006. The Mini Bomber is a great and unique way to transport your bikes on top of your roof, especially for vehicles where a traditional roof rack won't work. Rather than having to purchase a roof rack and a bike rack separately, it functions as both. It mounts to the roof of our vehicle and also lets us transport our bikes. Overall, there's a couple of things I really like about this bike rack. One is that it's very easy to use and install. The other is that it's very versatile, so we can adjust it really anywhere on our rooftop as long as we have space for it, but we can also use it for any vehicle as long as you have the space and the surface area on top of your roof for it. One of the drawbacks might be the security features because it's very easy to remove and there's not very many locking features. There's a couple of different options you have to deter theft. You can purchase a cable lock anchor for your window. However, for frameless windows like this vehicle we have right here, it's not gonna work as well. Another option you have is to purchase a cable lock anchor for your trunk. It'll fit anywhere where there's a seam in your trunk, wherever there's space really. And then you just run the cable up to your tires. You might be thinking, well, the cable might be rubbing against my roof. All you have to do is scoot your bike rack back to prevent that. The Mini Bomber is held in place by six vacuum cups, which are similar to suction cups. The only difference being they have this pump cylinder right here, which sucks out all of the air. When all six cups are fully in place, it's going to create an airtight seal. And as you can see, when I shake the Mini Bomber, it's shaking the entire vehicle rather than just the rack. Each vacuum cup has a 210 pound pull rating. So when you have them all installed, it's not gonna go anywhere. Its ability to mount to any solid, smooth surface gives you a lot of different mounting options. You could have a glass, metal, or fiberglass rooftop. And in this case, we don't have to worry about putting any type of traditional roof rack that fits under our door frame. It's just gonna sit right on top of our roof wherever it best suits our needs. Because the vacuum cups are made out of a thick rubber material, you're not gonna have to worry about scratching or damaging the surface of your vehicle. How it works is we're at the bottom of the cup right now and we see this little hole right here which is basically the escape route for the air. When I put my finger on that hole and we press in the plunger, it stays put. And when I release my finger, the air escapes. As far as how the bike attaches, it's not much different than your standard fork mounted system. You just pull down on this little gray handle and that releases the pressure off the forks. Now we can easily lift up and put down the forks on our bike. When we're ready to secure it, just push the handle up, and as you can see, it's very secure. And it comes with this standard 9mm skewer, which will fit most of your bikes. The back of the bike is held in by the rear wheel. We have this thick hook and loop strap, which secures the back tire. We also have this safety strap, which wraps around the pedal and around the frame of your bike. That helps prevent any type of contact from occurring between your bike pedals and your roof. Because both of our bikes have a narrow set of handlebars, we don't have any problems with handlebar contact. However, if you have a bike with a wider set of handlebars, you may need to adjust the pitch of your riser. The inside can pitch out to the side so you can offset your handlebars. At its widest point, the back wheel cradle measures at about two inches. So it's gonna work well for your road bikes and your mountain bikes, really anything with that smaller size tire. Any bike that has a bigger size tire than that is probably gonna exceed the weight limit anyway. Now even though it comes with a standard 9mm skewer, you can pick up an adapter at eTrailer.com to fit your style of bike. The weight capacity for this bike rack is 45 pounds per bike, giving you a total of 90 pounds as a weight limit. The rack itself is 12 pounds, so you want to make sure that those combined weights doesn't exceed the weight limit of your actual roof. Let's take a look at how our Mini Bomber did when we had it out on the road. Up first are our speed bumps. This is going to simulate driving into a parking garage or up a curb into your own driveway. The alternating speed bumps are going to simulate driving on uneven pavement or through potholes. Now we have our slalom course. This is going to simulate evasive maneuvers or tight turns. Before we install this, let's take a closer look and see what comes in our kit. We have the main base, which is gonna hold the front forks of our bikes. We have the two rear suction cups for our back wheels. We have an extra suction cup should you need a replacement. 
We also have the two pedal straps right here, as well as a bottle of multi-purpose lubricant to keep our pumps running smoothly. We have the wrench and Allen key to help us remove and replace any parts, as well as the nine millimeter skewer with the two adapters. We went ahead and used a little bit of our multi-purpose lubricant to make it a little bit easier to pop into place. But they go on each side like so. It's a pretty snug fit, so you're gonna have to use a little bit of force to get them to pop in like that. And this is gonna be the same process for any other adapters that are available. Now we can insert our nine millimeter skewer. You do wanna make sure that the handle on your skewer is facing the outside to make installation and removal of your bike a lot easier. So you just have to unthread right here. Once you've got that all the way off, we can just insert it through and then re-thread it. In order for your suction cups to work properly, you wanna make sure that you clean your roof of any dirt and debris. You also wanna make sure when placing your suction cups that you don't place them over any chipped paint spots or creases. Now we're gonna remove the protective covers on our suction cups. They just pop off like that. Then you can set them to the side. Now we're just gonna take a spray bottle of water and lightly spray our suction cups so that they're moist when we put it on our roof. Now we can set our front piece in place. Normally, you wanna put it more towards the passenger side, but because it's so long, we're gonna center it to make it easier to unload and load our bikes. Also, when positioning it, we have it more towards the front right now, so we can still have access to our trunk. Because our vehicle slopes towards the outside from the center, we're gonna start with our two center cups. As we go to the outside, the plastic body of the piece will conform to the shape. So we're just gonna apply light pressure, and because it's a little hard to reach, you can do this with one hand. So apply light pressure with your right hand and begin to pump the cylinder. You're gonna keep doing this until that orange band around the cylinder disappears. Once you've done that, just repeat this process for your other three cups. As you move to each cup and you pump it down, you wanna recheck your other pumps and make sure that the orange band did not reappear. If it does, all you have to do is re-pump it down. In order to get our rear cups in the correct spot, we need to set our bike on top of our roof. However, in order to protect our roof, we need to first secure our pedals with the included pedal strap. We're just gonna strap our pedal to the frame of our bike and you wanna make sure you do this as tight as possible to prevent any damage from occurring from the pedals on your roof. Now we can set our bike on our fork mount. You wanna make sure that your skewer is open enough so that your fork can drop down on top of it. And then you can just clamp it up. Now we can place our rear suction cup. We're gonna go ahead and undo the hook and loop strap. And then we're gonna pick up our back tire and place our cup on the roof. Now we can apply light pressure and begin to compress the pump cylinder until that orange band is gone. Now we can take our strap and secure our wheel. You wanna make sure you do this as tight as possible. Give it a quick shake, make sure it's tight. And then just repeat this process for the other side. With everything installed and our bikes loaded, we're ready to hit the road. And there you have it for the Sea Sucker Mini Bomber Fork Mounted Roof Bike Rack, part number 298-BM2006.